starting off with our mission statement, uh, our mission statement's not changed very much over the last 10, 15 years. We've always wanted to be the premier provider of satellite-based services. And over the last 10 years, those services have basically focused on providing broadband access. So we're providing broadband access, whether it's for a corporation or for a consumer at home or uh, a large corporation or small corporation. So we provide broadband services, products, network solutions, primarily using our satellite technology. But over the years, we basically modified that to also include terrestrial technologies when that makes sense. For example, if you're a corporation that has 10,000 branches in the United States and 500 of them are in urban areas like downtown Manhattan, it might make sense to use um, the telephone company for that, even though we don't like telephone companies too much, but <laughs> we tend to compete with them more than that. But where it makes sense to use them, we'll use them. So if you look at the ownership structure of our company, uh, Hughes Communications, which is really our uh, primary holding company, uh, is owned about 58% by a big private equity organization called Apollo Management, and the remaining 42% is owned by the public. We are listed on the NASDAQ, and uh, Hughes Communications is 100% owner of Hughes Network Systems, which in return represents 99% of Hughes Communications business. So even though we use the two names as one and the same thing, we have the same officers, the same management for, for both companies. As I mentioned, our business is to provide broadband solutions and manage network services. We also provide ISP services for consumers, but all that means is we provide things like email and uh, the different ISP applications. We are global in nature. We, our equipment uh, or our services are offered in over 100 countries worldwide. Uh, in fact, we can't, e including some VSATs that are located on the North Pole and the, you know, in, the, in the Antarctic. Uh, we have service companies, obviously, in North America, which is our base. But in the last few years, we've developed the same model in Europe, India, and Brazil. And in the other parts of the world that we don't have our own service companies, we have over 80 Hughes authorized service providers. So what does that mean? What that means is if you're a global corporation and you want to have a single homogeneous network that connects your branches in uh, these 100 countries uh, together, between our, our own independent service com between our own service companies and our independently authorized service providers, we can provide a homogeneous network to a Fortune 500 uh, corporation. And most of the major Fortune 500 corporations, in one way or the other, tend to be customers of ours, either in a country or globally uh, in a multinational network. What we use to provide these networks is something called a VSAT, which is a very small aperture terminal. And what it is, is a little dish that we plop on the roof of the branch or the local office and connect it directly via satellite to the headquarters, the data center, or wherever you want to connect it. And we bypass the local phone company, the international exchange <coughs> carrier, and provide a very efficient network uh, for doing that. We've shipped uh, over 1.9, we're getting close to 2 million of these VSATs all over the world. And all that means is there are about 2 million sites now that have a huge VSAT on it connected into a network. 08 was a good year. We shipped over 300,000 uh, uh, units in, uh, in 2008. Our revenues in 2008, we crossed the billion dollar mark, which was a big milestone for us. We did 1 billion 60 million made uh, reasonable profits, uh, grew uh, our, pro our EBITDA to 155 million and of approximately 2,000 employees. So even though the economy was obviously uh, in tough shape in 2008, we were able to show continued revenue growth, profit growth, and employee, we continued to hire employees rather than lay people off, all of which were very positive uh, signs for us in 2008. So what, uh, how does this network look like? Uh, so we, we try to show you an example of two um, types of networks that we offer. The first one is as a broadband network service provider. If you look at, the, if you look at this teleport, this is the hub or the headquarters of a network. For example, in the United States, we have two teleports. We have one teleport here in Germantown, Maryland, and another teleport in Las Vegas. These connect through the satellite 
to corporations and their branches like say Walmart, which was our first customer, to residences, consumers at their homes, and to carriers who may, uh, you know, like a cellular carrier who may have a backhaul requirement from a cell site to their switching center. All of these are connected from our teleport to their corporate data center, to the internet, or to the telephone network. This business, both in the United States and internationally, represented about 900 million of our total, uh, total revenues. We also have teleports in um, uh, Germany, in Griesheim, Germany, near Frankfurt, which covers Europe. We have a teleport in uh, Delhi, in India, building another one in Hyderabad in India, and then we also have a teleport in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, so internationally, this is also a gr growing phenomena for Hughes. Now, besides these three international teleports that I just mentioned that Hughes owns, uh, we have authorized service providers in 80 other countries. So there are 80 other teleports in, you know, including countries in Africa, in other parts of Europe, in other parts of South America, Asia, et cetera, China, Russia. Aruna spends half his time selling stuff in Russia. How many do we have there, like 10 or 12? We're, we're up to 20 operators. Now. 20 operators in Russia alone, you know, who are uh, authorized service providers there. And then the new, one of the new things we're doing is this word, you see this word mobile being used more and more and more. The, a lot of the world believes that the era of fixed telephony and fixed uh, communications is sort of giving way to mobile. Everybody's using their cell phones and want to have the communications on the go. So we also have been building mobile satellite networks uh, and every major mobile satellite carrier is a customer for us. And these include people like Inmarsat, um, Mobile Satellite Ventures, MSV, Terrastar, ICO, you may have heard some of these names. Uh, Thraya in the Middle East is a big uh, customer of ours. Thraya offers mobile, uh, mobile satellite networks all the way from now from Japan uh, to England. And they, they cover that whole region so that, and, and we build a, a terminal for them which is like a cell phone that can either allow you to communicate through the satellite or through the cellular network depending on whatever is convenient in the location where you are. So if you're traveling and you want to use the same, uh, the same phone anywhere in that region, even if there's no cellular coverage, uh, this will allow you to do that. And that business uh, is a growing business and has revenues of about 155 million.